example of how to compute uh, equivalent noise figure of cascade of stages when all are impedance matched. Imagine we have a voltage source V0 or noise source V0 and we have R0 as reference regi register and then we have the first stage with voltage gain A1 and noise factor or figure F1. Consider its noise factor and then we have a stage 2 with noise voltage gain of A2 and noise factor F2 and uh, a3 F3 for a stage 3 so this is a stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 and this continues uh, for a stage n with voltage gain a n and noise factor F n and then we have the final load RL assume that everything is perfectly impedance matched uh, between the source and the stage and the first stage and between the stage 1 and stage 2, stage 2 and stage 3, and finally, final stage and the load. If that is true, then we know each of these stages would generate um, its own uh, thermal noise. And then, uh, because these thermal noises are independent from each other, then we can simply say if they are input referred to the input of a stage 1, then we can just simply say uh, the total uh, noise at input to stage 1 is equal to sum of the total noise power uh, because these noises are independent from each other we can just simply add, add them up in power so it would be n1 which is the noise power of stage 1 input referred at the input of the stage then N2 which is the noise power of the noise for stage 2 referred to the input of the stage 1 so we need to uh, divide it by A square A1 squared which is the voltage gain of stage 1 and then the noise power for noise generated by stage 3 input referred to it then we have to refer to the input of the stage 1 so we need to divide it by A1 squared times A2 squared and this continues for the noise of the last stage, which is the power of the noise generated by the last stage, which is n sub n, and then divided by a1 squared, a2 squared, uh, a n minus 1 squared, because now we are referring that noise from here to the input of stage 1. So we know this. Then uh, we can say total uh, or overall equivalent noise factor or equivalent is equal to by the definition signal to noise ratio at input the power of the signal to power of the noise at input to signal to noise ratio at output final output we want to see how much is this is degraded which is referred to as noise factor so for this one we can say this is voltage at input squared divided by reference noise power at input if there was nothing generated by the stages and then at the output same voltage uh, magnified by all the gains over all the noises magnified by all the gains so both overall noise and input voltage can uh, experience the same amount of gain so we are not mentioning the gain here they are cancelling out so the total noise as computed here is now used here. Um, this is uh, N0 plus N1. N0 existing noise at input and then N1 plus N, N2 divided by A1 squared coming from here. N3 divided by A1 squared, A2 squared. Mm -hmm. Uh, plus n sub n a1 squared a2 squared a n minus 1 squared okay these two cancel out and what we get is um, 1 
when when you take this to numerator and then this goes to denominator and you divide then you get one plus n1 over n1 n naught plus one over a1 squared times n2 over n naught plus one over a1 squared a2 squared n3 over n naught plus one over a1 squared a2 squared a and one is one squared times n sub n n naught. Uh, now, for example, for stage one, we know n one is uh, the maximum available noise power. Let's say it's kT. Uh, assuming reference bandwidth of one hertz, so it's kT equal te uh, equivalent temperature of stage one. Uh, and this one is k t naught so we know this thing becomes t1 over t naught um, and we know this guy is basically noise factor of a stage one minus one so knowing this we can replace this whole thing by uh, one plus f1 minus one for that factor then 1 over a1 squared for this one again we can say it's f2 minus 1 um, plus a1 squared a2 squared for this one we can say it's f3 minus 1 and so on um, so finally of course is f1 plus f2 minus 1 a1 squared plus f3 minus 1 a1 squared a2 squared and fn minus 1 a1 squared a2 squared a n minus 1 squared and that is the overall or equivalent total noise factor of cascade when all uh, our impedance matched please know that it should be all impedance matched if not impedance matched then the assumptions here would not hold noise factor would be slightly worse I mean the worst case noise factor uh, then we see uh, my other video that covers uh, this scenario